The time has come, big dude. The time has come. We're leaving for two weeks. This is the longest I will have ever not seen you since Chelsea and I met. Cooper, this is the longest I'm going to ever be away from you. Your entire life. I've never been away from you for this long before. He thinks he's going. I'm so sad. He doesn't understand. I'm going to miss you guys so much. Oh my gosh. This is not easy. What's up guys and welcome back to another Trev and Chels vlog. Today is the day that we embark on our journey to Australia. A dream trip of ours. We can't wait to go. We have so many fun things planned and it's going to be the trip of a lifetime. But leaving these guys behind is always the hardest part. The good news is, is that Mama Martin is staying at the house. She's taking care of the boys. She's going to spoil them. They're going to get all sorts of attention. Probably even more attention than they get from us on a daily basis. So she's the best for that. And we're going to see you guys when we get back in two weeks, okay? I'm going to miss you, buddy. I'm going to miss you. Let's get going. Just let me know you're okay. Today. Thank you, mother. Mwah. Love you. Mm, I love you so much. I'm gonna miss ya. Miss you too. Have fun miss with the guys. dogs. Send us lots of pictures. I will. Okay. Bye. We'll see you later. Love you. Love you. Chels, do you remember love Cooper you. with Olaf? <laughs> what do you think you would think of that thing? That's pretty cool. I do not want that in our house. When we tried to check in online, it was giving me an error when I put her passport information in, and now the gate lady just said she's gonna be right back and she's leaving. So I don't know if that's a bad thing, but... I might not be going to Australia today. <laughs> so this is a little word of wisdom for you guys who may end up traveling to Australia in the future. You need a visa to be able to go. It's one of the few countries in the world that you can't just get in with a US passport. So we have to apply for a fast track visa right now, which is gonna cost a lot extra money. We had no clue was happening. And that's why we couldn't check in. So hopefully this works out. Hopefully we have enough time. We got here early, so that's good. We should be okay. It looks like we're gonna get a response within one hour. Our Just flight leaves in about one and a half, so. <laughs> a few moments later. <laughs> we're both so happy, like oh celebrating in the airport right now. That was no joke, the longest six minutes of my life. I thought everything, four all the planning. Minutes, four minutes, an application at 516 and approved at 520. <laughs> we made it. We're coming for you, Australia. I'd like to take the final opportunity to thank Richard for flying with us today. It's been our pleasure serving you. If you have a great stay in Los Angeles or wherever your final destination might be. All right, we made it to LA. Now we are waiting. We're gonna grab a little bit of food. We get a couple meals on the flight, but we're gonna get a little snack. And we need something to do for the next like hour, hour and a half. 15 hours in this spot and we're finally gonna be there. <laughs> Hour one, we've both fallen asleep already. Oops. But here's our meal. Holy cow, I can't wait. She thinks ahead about this stuff way more than I do, so she brought us <laughs> like a little bathroom kit. So we'll be able to take our contacts out, we'll be able to wipe our face. She even brought mini toothbrushes. The food was really good. It was like this pesto chicken. Yeah. It tasted like real chicken. Real it had like chicken. grilled yeah. zucchini and stuff like that. It was really, really good. But now it's time to pass out. I am exhausted. I'm ready to sleep. I think they wake us up in like eight hours or something like that for our next meal. So that's probably when we'll see you guys next. Good morning guys. So it is about nine and a half hours into the flight now. We're actually flying over an island called Savu Savu. I don't know what the heck this place is, but uh, we're about five hours from our destination and um, so far so good. We've just been sleeping. I slept the entire time. It's not the best sleep because you are kind of sleeping at an angle, but it's gone pretty well so far. Look at the size of this airplane. Holy cow.
That was your flight. Long very one? Long. <laughs> very yeah, long. very, very long one. So is it Dubai or Hong Kong? Ah, uh, from LA. Ah, oh, jeez, that's, that's, oh, oh. first time for you? Yes, uh, excited. Well, we made it, girl. We just got dropped off by our cab. Unfortunately, we're a little early, so it's like 9.30 a.m. right now. I don't think we can get into our apartment until 11 because it's getting cleaned. So we've got to kill a couple of hours, but we're here in Bondi Beach. And we're staying right in this really awesome little area that has all sorts of bars and restaurants and shops and all kinds of stuff like that. And then this right here, you guys can see across the street, is the most popular beach in Sydney and probably the most popular beach in the world. So we're less than a block from that. So this is going to be a fantastic location for these next two weeks. But for now, let's get some bagels. <laughs> That place was absolutely delicious. So oh my gosh. That is for sure gonna be a regular spot every single morning, but we're gonna walk across the street to the beach here. We still have about an hour to kill. You guys can see there are a bunch of surfers already out there this morning, ripping it up. After a little nap on the beach, we were there for, I don't know, probably what, two and a half hours, three hours? Yeah. Something like that. We're gonna head back. We're gonna see if they have it ready yet. See if we can drop this stuff off because it's kind of a, a buzz kill to have to carry a suitcase around everywhere. It's pretty hot out here. And this is not easy work. Good stuff. All right, guys. Well, welcome to our little humble abode for the next. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. I don't think I like that. <laughs> what in the world is this? Okay. I think I will be getting a blanket to cover that up. That's that's a little weird, but this is pretty nice. All right, so I'm gonna drop this, give you guys a little tour. This is the first time I'm seeing it too. So we are right here on one of these main little streets. I'm just so excited because there's so many cool little shops and restaurants and stuff like that. But we've got that. This is what caught my eye on the Airbnb listing. Look at this right here. It's an old school Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man, Frogger, etc. type machine. We have a TV, little living room area, little kitchen. This is the best part about not staying in hotels wherever you go because we can actually go to the grocery store and get some stuff and fix it up for ourselves rather than simply relying on all restaurants and stuff like that. But if we come upstairs, it's a little loft area. Hey, at least this is a little bit better than the clown downstairs. That's kind of hot, right? It's oh, so like that creepy whoa, I might, have to, I might have to blur that. She showed a little nip there. It's still got that like creepy vibe though. It's kinda, I don't know. The rest of the house might kind of be into it. And then we have our little bathroom here. So a little walk-in shower, toilet, lockers and then a washer and dryer which will be nice so I don't have to go home with the laundry so yeah it's a little spot nothing too crazy it's pretty nice though it's it's urban it's chic and uh, I'm pretty happy with it so anyway I think it's time to go get some lunch I'm starving I don't know about you yeah. those little meals in the airplane just weren't really cutting it I mean they were good it was good food but they were all really really small like, is, was this what you would like? Right. Or is it, but that's all you get. I need like three times that portion size. Maybe that's because we're American. I don't know. Anyway, let's go get food. Well, we found a nice little spot right here on the beach. Look at that. That's where we were laying earlier today. Dropped all the stuff off in the room. We're a little hungry here. So I'm trying a local beer. Hopefully it's pretty good. Something yak, right? You got a Bloody Mary, right? That's her go-to. <laughs> And then I got a salmon burger and she got a regular cheeseburger. So hopefully this place is pretty good. Check out how they do ketchup in Australia. So this is your ketchup packet. There's kind of like a little slit in there. And what you do is you squeeze it like this and it comes out. There's no tearing, there's no getting it all over yourself, having it explode on you. It's that easy. Genius. You know those moments where you really, really want something, but you can't have it, so you have to practice patience? I'm currently going through one of those right now. What's up, guys, and welcome back to day two of our Australia trip. It is around nine o'clock in the morning. 
Chelsea has finally awoken from a long and fantastic slumber. She actually slept all the way up to around 8.30. I've been up since around four o'clock in the morning editing videos. And um, this is my little setup right here where I was editing. And you guys can see, if you look out the window in the bottom corner, donut time. And uh, that is a, it's like a neon sign. So since I've been up since four, it was dark outside when I first got up. So it was like glaring through the window at me just saying donuts, donuts, we have donuts. And I've been staring at it for the past five hours and there's still not open. Anyway guys, today I don't really know what we're going to be doing. We don't have anything super, super planned or anything like that. The only thing we do have going on is tonight we are going to be staying the night in the Taronga Zoo, which is really, really exciting. It's like a super exclusive thing they offer. This is actually the only night out of our entire trip here that they had availability and I booked it like two months ago. So we're going to be doing that tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Up until then, we have an entire day to just kind of mess around and explore Bondi. I think we're gonna go over, so yesterday we kind of just hung out strictly on the beach, but they have a lot of stuff going on kind of like on the edges of the beach and of that cove. They have little hiking trails and tide pools and all kinds of cool stuff you can check out. So I think that's what our plan is, is just kind of walk around, explore this neighborhood a little bit more, and uh, then in future days, we'll probably branch out and go to other places in Sydney. But uh, for today, we're gonna kind of stick around here and then head to the Taronga Zoo once it's time to do that. I think we head there around like six o'clock. So anyway, let's get going. This walk is most commonly known as the Bondi to Kuji walk, but we're doing it backwards. So we're starting here at Kuji Beach and we're gonna be walking back to Bondi, which is where we're staying. Supposedly it's supposed to be a little bit prettier, a little bit more epic when you do it that way. So that's why we're doing it but it's three and a half miles of coastline walking on this nice little paved trail. It's not much of a hike, even though they call it one. And it's supposed to be some of the prettiest views that you can get out of Sydney. So we're kind of taking care of this early. It's a very touristy thing to do. There's no doubt about that, but. Natural tide pools that have formed. You've got the crazy, what is it? It's like it's the Tasman Sea is what I think it's called. It's not the Pacific Ocean. But you've got that raging out there, exploding all over the place. And you have this nice calm swimming water down here. You trying to hop in? I'm gonna go down and feel how warm this is. I'm thinking about getting in. It's probably gonna be pretty cold. Woo! Okay. It's a little chilly. So, Giles Bath has been conquered, had no clue that was there. We just kind of randomly came across it, but. Very slippery. That was a nice little, yeah, it had like algae all over all the steps, so it was kind of hard to stand, especially when those waves were coming in, but it's a nice little first stop. It's pretty hot out here. The water's really cool though. It's like that shock of taking a cold shower, but after a little bit, it feels pretty good. So we're gonna continue on our journey here. And I think this, is where our walk is heading next. Every beach that we've been to so far all have these little tin boats all over the place. Got no clue what they're for, but check this out. This is Gordon's Bay right here. Almost every single spot along this coastline is like a, it's like a postcard. Yeah. This is so pretty. Yep. Okay, she's just toplessly tanning. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's go join, right? No. God, I love Australia. Hey, holding up, girl. Okay. They have these nice little little benches and everything along this route. It's pretty cool. So if you guys see not this point right here, but the other little one on the other side that's pretty far away, that's where we started. That's where we were swimming, just around that point. So we've already made it a pretty good distance. Okay, now this looks pretty cool. You can walk all the way out to the cliffside and this water is going nuts. Probably really windy, I apologize for that, but look at this. Well, I'm not sure where we are right now because we haven't seen another sign since Gordon's Bay. But that was awesome. All the rocks and sitting on the ledge and stuff like that. Looks like we're coming up on a little swimming area. This is pretty cool. 
still open to the, the elements out there though. Lots of big waves coming in. Australia is pretty intense. Like this is, this is no joke. This water is really rough. Like that is the ocean out there. Got all sorts of waves coming in. It's super, super shallow and they just let people swim through here. Yeah, little kids. I don't know, this is crazy. If we were in the US, there's no way. This would all be roped off and I don't know. I guess we just have too many idiots that do things they shouldn't. Do you see it? Oh my gosh. What? That thing is enormous. Look at it next to my hand. We are currently in Boondock Park and here's a little map of our experience so far. So we started here. We walked through here into Gordon's Bay, into Cloverly Beach, which was that little swimming area down there. And now we're gonna continue up this way, continuing north, back to Bondi. And by Bondi, I mean Bondi. I keep saying Bondi, I can't stop. <laughs> if your dog does a poo, <laughs> does a poo. That is about the nicest way you could say that. <laughs> All these little guys are playing rugby. Man, that's crazy. You think American football is rough? If you guys watch the NFL, holy cow, some of the stuff they do in rugby and Australian football here. Oh my gosh. It's insane. We're going to a game on Saturday. We can't wait. It's going to be crazy. Our cab driver to our apartment from the, uh, the airport, he was telling us about it because apparently he's really into it. He was excited we were going to be going to a game. He was saying that like, They'll have their heads split open and their chins and cheeks and stuff split open. They'll just get staples right in the sideline and then go right back out. And it's full contact, no pads. Just, oh my gosh. He said the best person to watch is the smallest guy because he has to make up for being the smallest guy. It's just, I, I we watched some YouTube videos before we came here. I'm really excited about it. It just, it's the manliest thing you could possibly do. <laughs> I think if I had a kid, I'd be like, no, you aren't playing that because that stuff looks insane. Yeah. Our next section brings us to an enormous cemetery. Holy cow. 1930. Wow. Man, if you're going to get laid to rest one place, this wouldn't be a bad one. So we found this kind of interesting. Every single grave has how old they were when they died, not just the year, but like, 57 so years, years, 77 yeah. years, whatever else. And a lot of them have the reason why. If like accidental only, only drowning, the young ones. The young ones. They didn't, uh, presumably die of old age, you know, 87. But if it's like 18, it says what happened. It's kind of weird. Usually at home we just have the name, and like birth a, and death, and then the, the like quote like or something. Quote, yeah. Not all this information. It's kind of cool though. But it just, I mean, it spans on and on and on. All right, well, this is our last beach along the walk. We have this area through here. And then once we get around this point right there, that's gonna be Bondi, so we'll be back home. We're watching this guy out there in the waves. Those ones look pretty big. Hopefully he's gonna be okay. Looks like he might. Is he gonna try to catch this one? It's a pretty good looking one. You gonna go for it, bro? Yeah, he is. Oh, man. He missed it. Look! how blue that water is Amazing. holy cow this is so incredible sitting on the edge of the world well girl we made it three and a half miles later oh my God. this is the end of our Kuji to Bondi Beach walk and I would say we definitely did it in the right direction Kuji was cool but take a look at this final view here of Bondi. Holy cow. That's home right over there. Do you guys see that crane? Our house, our apartment is right by that crane. So, man, I don't know. That didn't seem too bad. No. I feel like we really took our time and we still did it in less than three hours. We so, did, yeah. Most everything on the internet said it was going to take like at least three. It doesn't take that long. This is like a membership only beach club. You can't get day passes. I really want to do it. That'd be cool. But they have more of those ocean swimming pools and lap pools right on the beach they've got like a terrace area and music and drinks and all kinds of stuff well girl what do you think i'm tired oh my goodness we made it three and a half kilometers later going up and down started at sea level ended at sea level so it doesn't really matter which way you go it's all the same difficulty but 
That was pretty incredible. Every single corner there is another breathtaking yeah, view. That was beautiful. Another possibility of dying, to be honest. Yeah, that's it was true. fun. We lived on the edge a little bit today, but we're back here. This is where our adventure started yesterday when we were hanging out on this grass out in front of Bondi Beach. But we have a couple of hours before we're supposed to head over to the zoo. So, are you hungry? Uh, yeah. I feel like we should go find a cool I need spot a to eat. Snack. Chicken Caesar, sirloin with pepper sauce. Ooh, that looks that's good. good. Whew. All right guys, we made it back to our apartment. It feels so good to be back after a long walk and look, would you look at that? Look where we started the episode. They weren't open yet, but they're open at 5 o'clock p.m. What kind of a donut place are you? You don't open in the mornings, but you open up at 5 p.m.? <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense to me, but um, hope you guys enjoyed. I think that's where we're going to end today's vlog. We are getting ready to go over to the zoo, and we're doing a roar and snore program where we stay the night in the zoo, but I feel like there's going to be so much going on with that, and then we actually like do zoo activities tomorrow. That, that should be its own video, so it's all zoo related. So we are going to see you guys in our next video on the way to the zoo it's going to be a great time i can't wait it's a super exclusive thing that you know like i said earlier in today's vlog i booked it two months ago and literally the only day where they had an opening was today during our entire two week stay here so it's pretty popular and it should be a lot of fun because you get to see the zoo at night and get kind of an exclusive look at it so hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching peace out